I'm here with Presley today, the clip curator. Presley, how are you? Doing well. Awesome. Why don't you just tell people kind of how you got into entrepreneurship and what your business does? I officially started my content agency. So we started in short form content for like social media, like Instagram. Then we pivoted to a long form agency. So now we're a YouTube focused agency and we work with clients across the country to help with their social media. We film with our clients in person, handle all the post production. So really just a full service video agency is our business. I love it. And what would you say like the state of your business is currently right now? I would say we're in a pretty good state right now. We run pretty lean. It's myself, Cam. We have a team of editors and designers under us and we work with a handful of clients and we're always looking to add on new ones, but we really just like working with like a handful of people and really just being high touch with them. I love it. Before you started working with us, what did your business look like at that point? And kind of what was your accounting process at that time? We previously had used someone for tax season, right? It was more just like, okay, end of year, get everything together. It was not really an ongoing like service, if you will. It was more just getting everything sorted at the end of the year, right before the tax season. It was a little bit disorganized. We ended up doing a lot more work than we needed to do at the end of the year because we weren't keeping up with it during the course of the year. And so there was all this reconciliation we had to do two weeks before tax season. It was like a big headache. I remember like sitting at my computer, going through all the paperwork, and it just wasn't really a fun process. And I realized that it would make a lot more sense to keep up with it. If I kept up with it on a recurring basis, I wouldn't have to do all this work, you know, and be stressed a couple weeks before filing was due. And that's really when I realized something needed to change. It was just never really like a priority. or I didn't know who to go to at that point to handle something like that. I kind of thought I could kind of just keep doing what I was doing. And I would just accept the fact that I'd be doing a lot of work in the month of February and March to get ready for filing season. And then we met at Client Ascension. I'd heard of you before, but actually meeting in person, I was like, you know what? I like this guy. Maybe we, we have the potential to work together. That was a fun event for sure. Yeah. I remember meeting and talking with you guys. And I think it was, it might've been Cam that was like, yeah, we're an S Corp, but we're not running any payroll or doing any of that. It's just like, oh my goodness, we got to help these guys out. Yeah, totally. And that was another thing for us as well. Around that point was around the time for our business where like it started to make sense to think about hiring an accountant full time or having somebody to help with that. Because previously, it just never been like a priority. It's like, oh, we're not really making enough where we it just like makes sense to justify that expense or it wasn't really top of mind. And then we re realized we had to start thinking about that stuff and taking it seriously within our business. Yeah, I know that was a huge thing when we first started working together was getting the your guys' escort payroll all set up and then getting your books in a good spot too. Um, 100%. So that whole process, we also just did taxes for you this last year. So between getting your guys' payroll set up, getting your books caught up and in a good place and getting your guys' taxes filed, you know, a few months ago, overall, how was your experience with us through all of that? Yeah, I think my favorite part is just having stuff, knowing that stuff is getting withdrawn on the first and the 15th or 14th of every month, whether that's, you know, taking out stuff for taxes ahead of time and just making sure that's accounted for. And I don't have to do that retroactively at the end of the year, make, like making sure we're caught up with that on a month to month and quarterly basis is really nice. Payroll for our employees that are on salary or contractors rather is really nice as well. Just making sure that's taken care of. It's not, it's like, gives me peace of mind knowing that's automatically being deducted is really nice. And also just getting that end of month report whenever I feel like we're allocating our money is always good seeing what softwares just randomly got caught in there that I'm not using anymore that I need to go and cancel. Mm -hmm. Just like that peace of mind knowing that, you know, if something sticks out, you guys will point it out if for some reason I miss it. And just having everything in like writing is always good. And it gives you a better understanding of the business. I'm the operator of the business. So I understand like how things work. And part of my responsibility is also managing finances as well. And having you guys on board and having an extra set of eyes is just always, it can't hurt. You hit a good point there as far as like the stress being stress-free in regard to this part of your business. You know, there's a lot of people that when they're looking for accounting services or financial services, they only think about the ROI from a financial standpoint, which there definitely is one. I also think there's an ROI as far as like your time recapture and your stress levels going down. What's been your experience and what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, it's just another area I don't really have to give too much attention. I like to still do my due diligence and like always just make sure, you know, like we're on the same page and look through expenses and whatnot. But it's just knowing that like on the accounting and tax side, you know, as a business owner, it's really important to do everything properly and making sure your books are in, are in order and you're hitting deadlines and, and all these different things. So in my mind, it's just another area where I can just have put my faith in someone. And I know that if something sticks out or something needs to be addressed, they will let me know. And I just have to like do whatever you guys tell me if that makes sense, right? So it's like if there's an issue or it's something I need to do, or I need to go reconcile and, and name expenses on our Chase account, or for example, if something is a business write off that I'm not currently using, you guys will let me know. Little things like that, where where I can just put my faith in someone and know that I'm going to be taken care of. It just gives me peace of mind because even though I'm still involved and I get to see what's going on, I'm 
not completely in the dark. I just know that there's all this stuff being taken care of in the background that I don't really have to think about or touch, which I really like that person because I have enough responsibility as is. Totally. Yeah, there's tons of other moving parts in the business and to be able to take this off your plate has been awesome for us. For sure. As far as the services that we've been able to provide, what has been your level of time commitment in order for us to deliver those to you? Oh, very minimal. Like I think we have probably a few touches a week. I would say 90% of the time it's something about reconciling expenses or, you know, seeing something come up and be like, hey, can you let us know what this was because we're just not familiar? And then I will just go into the software. By the way, another great part about working with you is I love how you guys have everything set up in zero. Everything is just like very easy. It's just very frictionless when I go mm -hmm. in and you guys need me to reconcile expenses. Like it's not this, oh, I have to go do that right now, right? It's not some really old, outdated looking software. I don't have to go into like a Google sheet and, and go. It's just very smooth process for me to go and reconcile expenses really only takes like 10 minutes max that also is just like a really nice part of working with you guys is like having that software and just having everything ran through that it just makes it very easy for me to go in and, and help you guys whatever you need and it's not just like this painful back and forth over email i can just go in and handle it immediately after receiving a message from you guys and that mm -hmm. reduces the time commitment on my end because at most i'm only spending like 10 to 20 minutes every week with things like that labeling and classifying expenses totally yeah between slack and the other softwares it's pretty streamlined. Totally. I think the communication and just like the succinctness of our communication is really nice as well. Yeah, I feel like there hasn't been a lot of unexpected fires or anything like that. We've been able to stay pretty on top of it. The only reason we have to sometimes ask you guys about certain expenses is because they're a very creative agency and sometimes they go to crazy places to do video shoots and we just have to double check that it's for a video shoot and not personal. Totally, for sure. Now that you guys have like a financial foundation in place, um, you know, we've been working together about half a year, maybe a little over that now. And now that we have that financial foundation dialed in and in place, where do you see your business going in the next six to 12 months? Yeah, for sure. I just have the peace of mind knowing that, you know, we can scale this to beyond six figures a month, right? That's kind of where we're at right now. And being able to do that on both the uh, agency side and our coaching business, which we plan to launch, like hard do a hard launch of this week. And just knowing that we can kind of do those numbers consistently. And if there's expenses that come up, we can chop them like weeds and, and make sure we stay on top of things. Like just knowing that we can eliminate below as we grow our business to make sure we're actually keeping you know most of what we're making just because we're on top of things and we're not needlessly spending makes me feel good because you know it just puts us in a place where we can start building really good cash reserves in the business and we can start thinking long term about things because we're just being smart about the way we spend and obviously having you guys and being able to get your consulting around what you guys think is is good what you guys think is like not necessary is super helpful as well so what's a business if you guys don't have cash flow or you don't have cash on hand right things get really hairy and just having that peace of mind that like we have that cushion of knowing that, okay, like this is how much we're spending every month. This is how much we're making every month and, and just being able to see it. It's, it sounds really silly in elementary, but most people just don't keep track of that things. I know I wasn't really looking at that or paying much attention to it for the longest time. I think people in the internet space and in the entrepreneurship space, especially the younger guys, they really have this mentality of like, oh, let me just earn more and, and just overcompensate for all this bloat and leakage in my business. And when I started actually addressing the leakage and the bloat, everything just started to make a lot more sense for me. And I, I just became more mindful of how much I was spending and where that was being allocated to. So I think a lot more people need to focus on the bloat and the leakage, even though it's like kind of unfun and unsexy. I think that's why most people push it off. It's just they don't want to have to deal with that and, and go through the numbers like that. Absolutely, dude. You hit it right on the head. There's so many business owners, especially the younger ones like ourselves, that just completely run away from this part of the business. They just don't even want to look and they just focus on some of the other areas. But you know, just taking that time, even if it's once a month to sit down and see where your business is at financially can really pay a lot of dividends and help you grow. Was there anything that surprised you about our service? Like anything that maybe we handled for you that you weren't expecting or something that was extra nice that you weren't anticipating? Yeah, for, totally. So I think another thing that you guys threw, threw on there as well is helping with personal because, you know, it's just an easy upsell for you guys. Like, oh, I'm handling, handling your business taxes. Like, let me get your personal tax return filed as well. That was super nice because for me, it was just it didn't make sense to have one person do my personal one do my business. I'd rather have everything uh, aggregated in one place. And that was a really nice add on for me. And then also just the software and being able to sort transactions with something that you guys created that's really easy and frictionless has been awesome as well. So I would say those are the two main things. Awesome. I love it. If someone was on the fence with working with us. What would you tell them? I would just say I have full confidence in the Stacks team. I think also you guys have a lot of credibility. You know, as you and Alex have come together, you just have a team of people that have actually done this in the corporate industry and have experience 
experience working at places like Goldman and just have a really solid repertoire of people I can trust. I can look at and be like, these guys know what they're doing. And also the professionalism, that's a big factor for me as well. You guys are on top of everything. You guys are hitting me up. You're being proactive about things rather than waiting till the last minute. And I always just have peace of mind where you guys are over communicators. So even if it's something really small and something that doesn't really need to be re reconciled immediately, but it's just like you just guys bring it up anyway, which I like. And even if it's like not urgent, you guys don't wait till tax season to be like, hey, can you reconcile these like 500 expenses or classify these 500 expenses? You guys just get to it right away. And it just gives me a lot of peace of mind knowing that we're always ahead of the ball and, and staying on top of things before it becomes a problem or before it, it becomes a lot of work. And just like that consistent month over month, it's just like, okay, I'm not going to be stressing come tax season because I know we've been hitting it out of the park the rest of the year up to this point. Totally. That was great. I really appreciate it. Is there any final thoughts you'd like to tell everybody? Yeah, I would just say, you know, if you want your accounting dialed, you want to spend a minimal amount of time monitoring every week and work with a team of really professional people that you can trust. Stacks is a no brainer. I don't know who else you would go for. And I just think they have a really good understanding of, I guess, online money landscape and online digital business landscape where some people, they might not understand what can be classified as a write off, what's an expense. And there's a lot of things that they just have a really good pulse on that I, I think you won't find from a lot of other so-called experts in the industry. So I put my faith in them and they haven't disappointed. Dude, that was awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate you hopping on for a little bit and excited to keep crushing with you as you keep growing your business. Absolutely, Dylan. Appreciate your time today.